Dear students, welcome to my channel HSC English Version BD. In this tutorial, we will learn how to solve rain umbrella problems easily with shortcut tricks. Actually, we can solve this type of problems by using either relative velocity concept or by using law of parallelogram concept. For this relative velocity concept, the format of the formula will be tan theta equals velocity of girl or boy or man or woman or wind or bicycle over remaining velocity. And for this law of parallelogram concept, the format of the formula will be tan theta equals the vector that has no connection with theta angle times sin alpha over the vector that has a connection with theta angle plus the vector that has no connection with theta angle times cos alpha. Now look at this question. Rain is falling vertically with a speed of 6 meter per second. A little girl starts running with a speed of 4 meter per second towards east. What is the direction in which she should hold her umbrella? Or find the angle with the vertical at which the little girl should hold her umbrella so that she may not get wet. You may think that these two questions are different as in this question we are asked to determine the direction but in this question we are asked to determine the angle. Actually these two questions are the same because at physics to find out the direction means to find out the angle. Now we will solve this mathematical problem with this tricky format of the formula of relative velocity concept and then we will learn in details. Here in this question given velocity of the little girl is 4 meter per second. See this is also the velocity of girl. So we can write here this 4 instead of this velocity of the girl. Look at the question again. Given velocity of rain is 6 meter per second. We can let this value as remaining velocity. So we can write here this 6 instead of this remaining velocity. Or theta equals 10 inverse 4 over 6. Therefore, theta equals 33.7 degree. This 33.7 degree is our final answer. So, we can say that as the girl starts running towards east, she should hold her umbrella at the angle of this 33.7 degree east. By applying tricks, we have done the math easily. But, did we really understand how we have got this tan theta? Let us learn it in details with full of explanation. Look at this picture. Rain is falling vertically with a speed of 6 meter per second. That means raindrops are falling vertically downwards like this at a speed of 6 meter per second. This is a vector as it has both magnitude and direction. We can let this vector as V rain. This girl starts running towards this east direction with a speed of 4 meter per second. This is also a vector as it has both magnitude and direction. Let this vector as V girl. Before started running, the girl was safe. But what if she starts running with a speed of this 4 meter per second. Actually, the girl will see the flow of rain coming from the opposite direction towards her 
with the same magnitude and velocity like this. For this, she will get wet. That is why she has to hold her umbrella like this at an angle of theta with vertical. The value of this theta with vertical will say that at which angle the girl will have to hold her umbrella. In fact, from this picture we will not be able to find out the value of this theta because the position of these two vectors is not appropriate. We have to shift these two vectors in such a way so that we can get them tail to tail and get the value of this theta. This is the head of this vector and this is the tail of this vector. What we will have to do is that we will shift this vector here like this. Now we have got these two vectors tail to tail. But yet the position of these two vectors is not okay because this angle is useless as we will not be able to find out the value of this theta with the help of this angle. In fact, Everything in the universe that we can see is relative to us. That means we are the observers. To solve rain umbrella problems, we have to reverse the direction of the observers by 180 degree with the same magnitude. Here in this question, the girl is the observer. So we will reverse this vector like this by 180 degree with the same magnitude. See, in this position, these two vectors are joined tail to tail. We can name this vector as V girl prime. We know that when we rotate a vector by 180 degree, then it becomes negative. This negative sign means the direction only but the magnitude can never be negative so we will have to give here a modular sign like this so that we can get this positive magnitude therefore the magnitude of this vector is 4 meter per second when two vectors spread from one point at a time then we get a resultant like this for this 6 meter per second, we can write here 6 meter per second. And for this 4 meter per second, we can write here 4 meter per second. As we know that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal to each other. If we extend this resultant like this, then this angle will be theta. These are the opposite angles. We know that opposite angles are equal to each other. So, if we can find out the value of this theta, then we will get the value of this theta also. That means the girl has to hold her umbrella like this with the value of this theta. See, this is a right triangle. This side is the opposite of this right triangle and this side is the adjacent of this right triangle. We know that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. We can learn this formula by remembering 10 oppressors added with them. Here 10 means tan theta, oppressors means opposite and added means adjacent. So we can write tan theta equals this 4 meter per second over this 6 meter per second or theta equals tan inverse 4 over 6 therefore theta equals 33.7 degree that means with vertical this girl has to hold her umbrella at the angle of 33.7 degree now listen carefully if we are asked to determine at which angle the girl should hold her umbrella with ground? That means in this case, we will have to find out the value of this angle. 
not this angle. See, this is a 90 degree angle. If we subtract this 33.7 degree from this 90 degree, then we will get the value of this angle. That is, this 90 degree minus this 33.7 degree equals 56.3 degree. So, in this case, the girl had to hold her umbrella in respect of ground at the angle of this 56.3 degree. Now, we will solve this mathematical problem with this law of parallelogram concept. Suppose this is a ball. If this boy kicks over this ball in this direction, what will happen then? Certainly, the ball will go in this direction. Again, if this boy kicks the ball in this direction, what will happen then? Certainly, the ball will go in this direction. Now think, both of these two boys kick the ball at a time. What can be happened now? Neither this ball will go towards this direction, nor towards this direction. The ball will go in this direction. If we draw a parallelogram like this, then it will be the resultant. This angle between these two vectors is called alpha and this angle is called theta. Similarly, when rain falls vertically downwards and at the same time the girl starts running, then for these two vectors, we will get here a resultant like this. This resultant is the new direction of rainfalls only for this running girl. For this resultant, the girl will see the flow of rain is coming towards her. If we shift this resultant from here to here, then this resultant will be the resultant for parallelogram concept. Do remember, we will take the angle theta with vertical only, but not with ground. We know that rain always falls vertically and so we hold umbrella vertically. But if we need to hold umbrella like this, then we move our umbrella from vertical to here. So this angle is our required angle. This angle is not our required angle. That is why we take theta here with vertical. Look at here. These are our two vectors. This is alpha and this is theta. Now we will solve this mathematical problem. See, there is no theta with this vector. So we will write here 4 meter per second instead of this the vector that has no connection with theta angle. Here also we can write 4 meter per second instead of this the vector that has no connection with theta angle. See, theta is here with this vector. So, we will write here 6 meter per second instead of this the vector that has a connection with theta angle. This is a 90 degree angle. This 90 degree is the value of alpha. So, we can write here 90 degree instead of this alpha and also write here 90 degree instead of this alpha or tan theta equals 4 times 1. As we know sin 90 degree equals 1 over 6 plus 4 times 0. As we know cos 90 degree equals 0 or tan theta equals 4 over 6 or theta equals tan inverse 4 over 6. Therefore, theta equals 33.7 degree. We had also got the same answer before. Now, we will learn the super shortcut formula to solve this type of problems for MCQ and admission. This is our super shortcut formula. Theta equals tan inverse velocity of any person or any things over velocity of rain. Velocity of the girl is given 4 meter per second. As she is a person, we can write here 4 instead of this velocity of any person or things. Velocity of rain is given here 6 meter per second. 
so we can write here 6 instead of this velocity of rain therefore theta equals 33.7 degree this is our answer see same answer we have got here also thanks a lot again for watching this tutorial